This is a poem for the NSA, the National Security Agency, whom I admire enormously. <laughs> I do, actually. I think finally somebody in America knows what they're supposed to be doing instead of playing their own games. Anyway, this is a poem for NSA. Dear NSA, thanks. <laughs> nice to know I got readers of all my poems <laughs> shot off into cyberspace via my friends' addresses. Sorry for not sending Twitters or Facebooks. I don't know how to use them. I did try Twittering once and lost the haiku poem. If you want to send me critics or such, I'm home most Sabbaths after show and will gladly read your criticisms on Sunday. Meanwhile, keep up the good work, saving us unread writers from getting lost in the world's violent indifference to artists. In the good old days once, I think the CIA funded a journal that published a poem of mine, but since then, big silence. I think it's great the government steps in to keep us unknowns from time's vanishing act. And who knows but what I'll be footnoted somewhere, sometime, if all the scholars aren't in graves by then and all books gone to dust, and literate mankind buried in TV. If you got any money left over after sequesterings, I wouldn't mind a check or two. <laughs> or maybe you could hack some publishing outfit and slip a few manuscripts of mine into their must-publish-or-perish list. I mean, who's going to stop you? Um, Anyway, that's my idea of poetry. It's <laughs> one of the reasons I quit publishing, or trying to publish. I figured there were enough bookstops in the world without using my books for them, too.